but that's what the, that chapter kind of started opening the door to okay i see what's what's going to happen with this book it's going to be like oh do you like your pants kicked because your pants are getting kicked you get kicked in the pants <laughs> DL Taylor here, the Mistress of Horror, and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, but you press that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when I'm uploading new videos. Welcome back to another book review video. I'm getting more into doing these, and I think I'll share books that I find inspiring and just all around enjoy. Welcome back to one of my book review videos, and this one is a double feature. And if you haven't been paying attention, I've been reviewing Dale L. Roberts' books as of late because he is releasing a series of self-publishing-based information nonfiction books. And it's very, very, very extremely useful, okay? So I have reviewed two of these books in video form. I am on the fourth one now. The fourth one is out, and that's the other one you see in this in the thumbnail. You probably saw it. That one is the Networking for Authors book, and the other one that I'm going to do right before that one is the Advertising for Books. And I mentioned that one in the last book review for Dale's Books because I, it wasn't out yet, and I was very excited to actually um, tell everyone about it. And I did leave written reviews for these, but I like to do video reviews as well if I can, because it just gives extra, you know, mm, to the review because people get to see how you really truly feel about the book. That being said, let's jump into the review for advertising for books. One thing that I always like to do is th there's something about a book where you can take a line from the book and then it kind of sums up like this big thing to you and i think i've done this for each one of these books in the series and i think it's supposed to be 12 books i found out um coming for the series and we are on only on number four which is like we have so much more to go um and this particular one here the line that stood out to me the most this time around was, do not invest what you cannot afford. That, that is something to remember because you can overstep and that's generally with a person who's learning to budget. That's something for them to remember. Um, but just when you're going to invest in something, don't overextend. And I think that that was a very good line to jump out at me while reading this book. Because sometimes you feel like you need to do a lot more, but it might be more than you can handle. And I mean, financially. That being said, Dale's book opens with a story that we can all relate to, which I really enjoy with Dale's voice in all his books. It's like you are watching one of Dale's lives or talking to Dale on Discord or something like that. Uh, he's very approachable, as I've mentioned a few times. And in his books, even when you're just reading them, you can still hear Dale's voice. So it's captured very well. And so it comes off very um, relaxed and informative as he does when he does his videos. This book particularly had me reevaluating some of my books that I've already released, let alone the books that I have coming. And it's about how I should approach the advertising space, how I, you know, don't understand some things still and still am learning. So it really made me think and try to come up with a better game plan for my books that are coming and for the ones that are there. So while reading this book, I would, I would take notes of things I need to go do, things I need to go check um, for my current books that are out. And, you know, you're thinking in the back of your head, like, I'm just not doing enough for my current books. Because it's a, it's a forever endeavor. You have to advertise your books even after, you know, your before launch, your after launch. 
and such and so on and so forth. But it's not always the easiest thing to remember to keep doing that the more books you have. So I really appreciate the reminder of some things that you forget to think about. And one of the things that for sure made me really think ahead when I release my next book is the cover. Checking the genre, checking the other books that are bestsellers in that genre. When we're talking about Amazon right now, checking the bestsellers. See what the covers are looking like. Does yours level with those? Does yours fit in that genre as far as the audience is concerned? You know, those type of things are in this book to teach you. And that is a big thing for me. And I thought it was I'm like, wow, you forget about these things. I mean, you could have thought about it in passing, but you know, you get excited when you're going to release your book and you're going to be like, oh, here's the cover I like, especially when you self-publish. You're like, this is the cover I like, and this is what I'm going with, and this is what I'm doing. This is the genre that it most likely falls in. And, you know, you could have been way off. Not that it's going to make you change your book, but it could make you realize something that you are willing to work with and or something you would have been fine with but you just didn't think of another thing dale talks about is the checking for the competitive pricing like is your book aligned with you know the standard of what books your size and or genre fits because maybe you are pricing yourself out of the market maybe you are underpricing you know, so that's something that the book does. It goes into good details, stuff of waking you up, things you may not have thought of. And let's just be honest, it's okay to admit it if we didn't think of it, even if it's the most basic things. Maybe we're thinking of very advanced and elaborate things or going to other details and we forget some of the basic things we should still be thinking about. Rather, it's our fourth book or our first book. And I think this book is a must-have because it teaches you the crucial things that come along with the advertising game and the advertising nerves, the, the scariness behind advertising your book and marketing your book and getting, getting it right as much as possible. The more information you consume, the better you'll be, especially for advertising. So this book is a you have to type of situation. If you're seriously considering publishing your book, um, taking this business series, this type of information is crucial. So this series is going to be like a one-stop shop. You're going to feel like you have like, you know, that arsenal. <laughs> um, you're, have your, you got to have your weapons at the ready, you know, and I think that that's what these books are doing. I gave it a five star rating. You could check my review on Kobo. I believe it's on Kobo. Kobo, uh, Goodreads, and Amazon, and possibly BookBub. But I usually try to hit all four of those just in case people are in different places. And then I do the video, of course, which is this. Check it out. It is available almost on every every place but it's definitely in all the mainstream places amazon is a big go-to for a lot of people but like i said it's it's everywhere so you won't have any problem getting yourself a copy so make sure you do all right so the next book which is the newest book in this series is um, networking for authors now this review i wrote for this <laughs> um before we even jump into that i gave it five stars i really don't see me giving these books under that because they're delivering on what they say and that's important especially talking about nonfiction, and we're talking about something that's very specific subject so i wrote a review for this i took notes while reading this one because this is networking for authors and it's very detailed like i said dale does not miss a beat on that You'll feel, you'll go away from these books feeling like you learned something. So you're not going to be like, man, this isn't what I thought. I haven't, that hasn't happened yet. So, um, but of course you need to get a copy of yourself and make up your own mind. But I wrote about 580 words of a review. So much so, Amazon is taking a while to clear it. 
but it, it is up on Goodreads, Kobo, and BookBub. So I'm still waiting on Amazon. The book did just come out on the 15th. I did put the review up on the 15th, but usually my reviews on Amazon go up the next day or within a couple hours because I review stuff a lot, okay? So I'm not sure what's the problem. Maybe it's because it's like, like I wrote a like an actual, like a, a detailed review, but it's not. It's not where it's like. It's my thoughts on each chapter, except for like the last two. I like kind of cut it short. <laughs> I kind of cut it short because I started feeling like they could probably be like, this is too long. In some places, you can't put up a review as long. Um. So I mean, I thought about it with Amazon. So I did make a shorter version <laughs> of this review, but Kobo and BookBub and Goodreads all took it. So I didn't really think much of it, but it seems Amazon is taking a while. I don't know what the issue is besides that it's a long review. They don't seem to have any nose towards long reviews on Amazon, so I'm not sure what the issue is. But anyway, this is what the review looks like <laughs> of Networking for Authors. So... I had a lot to say. I don't know. It's just, I don't think it's that long. I'm not sure what they consider a long review. Now, jumping into the review for Networking for Authors. Now, I have a few books out. They're small books, granted, but um, I have two short horror story books out. I have um, a poetry collection that's out, and I'm releasing my debut full-size novel, which is a dark fantasy novel in a couple months is the plan. Um, but I'm not great with networking 100, like, <laughs> which I will, am honest about in my written review. And that's also another reason why I had to read this book. And <laughs> I am very introverted, which duh, a lot of writers are, but I'm, um, there are, different types of introverts and i'm a chosen introvert if you know if that's a thing a phrase that they use i mean i'm not introvert well like i literally cannot go out and be around some people there that is a thing um but or i get nervous or something like that i'm not i say i'm introverted because i choose to be more introverted i once upon a time was not 100 introvert. I've always been like a, I won't say a loner. I don't know if that's the word to use for that. Uh, more that now, I suppose, but not 100. It's just I have a close net usually, especially when it comes to like friends and things like that. Uh, but networking is not the easiest thing. It's just not. It's like the next thing after marketing. <laughs> It's so when I picked up this book, I was like, it's not something I just do a lot of. So, but the book opened my eyes to like, you, you need to do better. Like, <laughs> you know, you need to do it. You got to push yourself to do it because you know, you need to, it's, you know, great connections. And I've had great connections over the years, even before we get into the business of my authorship. Uh, and I come from a different multi-layer background that I've networked in a lot. And I have networked in my writing and my author journey as well. I met some great people. But I'm very particular about who I deal with because of getting burned in the past. And I think that's fine to be particular and also careful. Um, which a lot of things are touched on in this book. It really is. But let's just go right through some of the chapters and some of my thoughts per chapter. There are eight chapters in this book. Um, and each one did its job. Um, chapter one is understanding your networking goals. This was the opening chapter and it made me like, look, that's when I say, do better. Do better. Um, <laughs> so... That chapter is, you know, you, you do, you do need to know your goals. Like, what do you want out of this networking? Like, you need to also understand networking. 
maybe understand it in a different way than you thought. And I think this book helps helped me kind of evaluate networking and also in a different way. Because you hear the word networking and as an introvert, you start cringing. You do. Like, because you're like, oh, I got to connect with people. No. <laughs> but, you know, it's not the worst thing. And like I said, I've networked, of course, in my author journey. And it's it was more of a natural networking. Like, I just, like, people I meshed with, you know, we worked together on some things. And then other people met through the people that I was working with. So it, it did, I've done it. But it's just like, it's still like when you know you're doing it, it's kind of like you don't. <laughs> but that's what the, that chapter kind of started opening the door to, okay, I see what's, what's going to happen with this book. It's going to be like, oh, do you like your pants kicked? Because your pants are getting kicked. You get kicked in the pants. <laughs> um, Chapter two went right on to building your author brand, which I'm like, okay, like you talk in my language. You talk in my language here. I, I was very into building my brand. I'm the mistress of horror. I knew what I wanted to do. Um, everyone knows me by that. That's what I, I do to darker things. Even if I do other things, it, it leads to the darkness. This this chapter kind of solidified things I was doing and made me say, okay, I'm on the right track. So that's where I really got from this chapter. I really enjoyed reading it. Um, it kind of gives you like, oh yeah, okay, I'm doing something right here. <laughs> the million things you can be doing wrong. And I thought, I failed the thing. One of the things I'm doing right. I did it right. I did this right, you know. <laughs> Pat yourself on the back. Pat yourself on the back. Chapter three. Chapter three. Chapter three was like, oh no. <laughs> it's a great chapter. It's a great chapter. But the chapter is offline networking strategies. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh no. Now it has so many great points in this chapter. But I was like, yeah. Like if it was like six, seven years ago, <laughs> eight years ago, nine years ago, 10 years ago, I've been like all over doing any of this stuff. And that, you know, gives you good range of like, you know, what you could do. You know, how these things work within, you know, offline strategies for networking. And I've been there in my other ventures in life where I've networked that way. And I was like, Whew. and I'd love to do some of them in the, in the future. Um, but I'm just like very, very online age, digital age. But it's a great, a great chapter again especially if you're the type that likes to go out in person and do strategies that network that way which can be really fun you know just the thoughts of them is like yeah it could be really cool you know but i'm like i'm not ready to go back to that yet which is why the chapter four was very fitting for me <laughs> this was my jam Online networking strategies. I was like, yes. Now you're talking my language. <laughs> I ate this chapter up. I was like, yes, this, this, this. Write this down. Yes. Try this. Do that. Yes. Great, great stuff. Great stuff. Um, Dale being, you know, experienced in this stuff and having done it really helps bring stuff to the table. Because it's good to hear someone who has, you know, worked at both ends of the thing. But rather online and, and in person so it's something for everyone another thing I want to stress in this book like no matter what kind of author you are this book is useful like if you like you know I don't like this type of networking you'll find something in here to learn from and and or something new that um, for networking that you may not even thought uh, this is how networking works you know so this was like this is the thing. This is the thing I like to do. But of course, I still kept notes for the um, offline strategies because it's good to have the information. And I'm not saying I don't want to do them. And then I probably will utilize them. <laughs> and 
the chapter four really did um, open my eyes to some new ways to network online that I hadn't thought of or looked at it differently, like I said. So, yeah, chapter four was definitely one of my favorite chapters. <laughs> but I'm like, come on, you gotta... <laughs> <laughs> and this just like the stuff that you do, you know, um, or if it sounds like music to your ears because that's that's what it sounded like. Um, and then we have chapter five, effective communication and relationship building. Uh, that chapter, Dale shared some experiences himself in this chapter. Again, I love when he does that, and it made you think like, yeah, I can see that. And this is obviously non-spoiler i don't want to give stuff away that you know i want you to still experience it for yourself i'm only naming the titles of the chapters they let you know what my thoughts were on those chapters so you can always actually go back and reference what i thought once you've read the chapters and see if any of the feelings are similar that's always a cool way to do it there was a a good part in chapter five that the communication between your reader and yourself and then emailing and things like that and how to handle some of those situations and best strategies and things like that. Great learning experiences and, and ideas and things that could come up. So I really liked that about it. Kind of like um, exercise, like watching someone else do exercise and then, you know, learn from other people's mistakes or uh, other people's experiences and see if like if you come across something like that and you can relate to it or maybe you'll read it now and then come across something similar and you can be like ah oh, this is what he meant so yeah that that was really a lot of what i got out of chapter five took a lot of notes too this chapter six is a leveraging technology for networking and he kind of talk goes right into um, email marketing right out the gate into this one, which is so far freaking important. So anytime you can learn um, more about that and how to utilize it, what not to do, some of the do's and don'ts um, for that is chef's kiss. So I really, really like that because email marketing seems like that's so important um, for your writing career. And he talked about the importance of having that for like, what if something goes down? You hear horror stories about like people's Amazon accounts and other, whatever their main social media is or the main place they sell their books and their audiences and they don't have any backup. Like they don't have another way to reach their audience in that one place and then something goes wrong terribly. It's possible. It has happened. I've read the stories on writer groups and stuff. And you know, email link list. It's important and this chapter goes over the importance of that some of the you know like I said do's and don'ts and you know the just that's one of the biggest things in the chapter that I really took oh my took takeaway was for that so yeah great stuff uh, every time I think about email marketing lists like your your emailing list I'm really doing my best to get better at that like I said in one of the other books that mentioned in one of Dale's books that earlier in the series that mentioned it and I've been working on mine and you know it's building but this type of stuff here chapter six it really just gave me more so definitely a key point to mention one other thing to mention in chapter six is Dale goes over you know, it didn't mention technology in here. So he goes over like a breakdown of good equipment that you would need, a breakdown of, you know, what you should look for, for podcasting, things like that. For example, like your mic, those are lots of things that people couldn't know about. And having it in the book with networking is great because you want to set yourself up to have the right tools. I finished off with chapter seven and eight, which is the end of the book. It's just a cherry on top. Dale closes it out with overcoming network challenges, which definitely will come up. <laughs> Everyone has some, you know, there's challenges that will occur. And then networking for book marketing and promo. So I'm not going to go really into details on those. I kind of left that kind of like that too in my written review. Again, I don't want to spoil too much, but I, I did talk a bit. I don't think that's spoilery. But I just wanted to really share my feelings on which each chapter kind of did for me. And those are like 
those are the key points for me. Like, I just... Networking sounded scary. And the way Dale talks about it doesn't make it sound too bad. <laughs> um, Actually, it's a good thing. It does work great. And again, it connects you with people that in all walks of life that have, you know, something to share. Because everyone, everyone really does. So, I think each one of these books in this series is like a piece of a puzzle. You know what I mean? I think each one is like, okay, well, here's this piece, and here's this piece, and then eventually you'll have the whole puzzle, and then you'll feel like you got your full suit of armor. <laughs> so you kind of have to put on armor when you're a writer, and you're going to go into the self-publishing world. I think Dale is like a blacksmith of... <laughs> right now, he's like the blacksmith of self-publishing. And he's like, you know, we go, hey, Dale, can you... Can you, um, can you work on, like, some breastplate? <laughs> you got that new sword, Dale? For the armor of the blacksmith. So, th I feel that this book series is, like, the different parts of the armor coming together. And you gotta get each piece, you know? I mean, it's like when you play a video game, because I'm a gamer. And you, like, you know, they got the shop has, like, the different pieces of armor. You need the whole armor set to be prepared for battle. <laughs> but anyway... That's my review. Both amazing books. I gave them both five stars, as I said. I do recommend them. I'm recommending the series to everyone who is self-published or self-publishing. And you will be better for it. It'll help you in the long run. A lot of us authors didn't have people like Dale. We didn't have information. It was out there. But we didn't have we could just, you know, get to it. Like, bam, okay, well... I'm, I need to work on this network and let me get this, this whole Dale's book up and see what's what before I make a oopsies. Like, <laughs> you're still going to make mistakes. But it's nice to go in, you know, having your armor. <laughs> That's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay scared.